just when you thought it couldn't get any better from Boss, it just did. Hi, I'm Mike Mendock with Boss Products, and today I have the privilege of introducing you to the brand new Boss Snorator Mag. The Mag is a bigger, more powerful piece of equipment that comes with an arsenal full of attachments that are gonna help you, the snow and ice contractor, restore order. Ever since Boss released our original Snow Raider, we've received feedback, comments from you, the customer, on how we can make this design better. Well, the mag is proof that we put those ideas and suggestions into play. Now we're gonna start by stepping through the base unit and give you an idea how this is gonna quickly redefine snow and ice control, making your company more efficient and more profitable. And if we're talking about the power of this new mag, there's no sense in going any further unless we talk about the new engine. So underneath this easily removable front cover, what we have is a Kohler EFI engine, 26 and a half horsepower with an electronic throttle body that maximizes power and increases fuel efficiency. And to keep you on the job site longer, we've increased the capacity of the gas tank to eight gallons. We have an external fill here on the side and we've added a nice feature the gas cap has a tab that locks it to the stem. You install a lock on the side, your gas is secure on the job site. The Snow Raider base unit has four wheel drive for optimal traction with speeds of eight miles per hour forward and five miles per hour in reverse. And obviously with a bigger, more powerful machine, we need a bigger, more stout charging system. So this unit is set up with a 50 amp charging system and the battery is located under this front hood. To get access to it, you release a quick pin on each side of the hood and watch this. The lid automatically opens with an automated spring pin, giving you access to that 690 cold cranking battery. Another really nice feature of this design is the serviceability and access you get to certain things that you're gonna to wanna to maintain on a regular basis. By taking the cover off the front, by lifting the hood, I have access to the fuel filter, the mega fuse, this is also where I'm gonna be filling the four gallon reservoir tank for the hydraulic system. And as you can see here, you also have access to the hydraulic filter. All of these things and the ease are gonna make your service team more apt to do these things on a regular basis. So we've got this big, powerful machine, right? But we gotta remember, there's an operator, there's a member of your team that's gonna be working on this thing. So there's things that we've incorporated into the design that are designed for safety and for comfort. Now let's start off by looking at some of the safety features of this. And the biggest one is gonna be the operator presence plate that you actually step on when you're operating the machine. By stepping on this machine, the whole entire system will operate as it should. All right, you can move the machine and run all the implements. As you step off this, it will keep the machine running, but it runs at a low idle. Now there's two reasons for that. One is of course, fuel economy. You're doing other things, why burn the fuel? But it's nice that it does run at a low idle because if you wanted to trailer this thing, you can be off the machine, running the paddles, loading it onto a trailer. You can also be jockeying the machine in position to attach to one of the attachments. So it's a nice feature that you're able to run it while stepping off the plate. Getting back on, looking at some of the other safety features we have, we have reflective striping on the back sides, obviously, so that anybody from the back can visibly see the operator but we also have three 1200 lumen LED headlights. One projects to the rear, two project to the front. The front ones, of course, illuminate your job surface. This will do the same in reverse, but it also makes everybody aware that you're there. Now, another one of the biggest suggestions we had from the previous version was it needed a parking brake. That's exactly what we added. And when you put that on, it actually stops the machine. If you try to engage it, it would shut it off. Now, as for the comfort of this machine, all of the paddles and everything here are an easy ergonomic reach for the operator. So the controls for the, the steering of the machine, the operation of any attachments, it's all easy to reach. We also add things for comfort, such as a large oversized cup holder, so you can keep a nice warm mug of hot chocolate there to keep your operators warm during the cold temperatures. But I think the biggest feature that is really gonna be a big game changer is this, is the heating system that we kind of built into it. As the engine builds heat, it's captured underneath the main dash, and we have a louvered vent right here at your hands. So that engine heat is actually getting funneled onto the hands of the operator, so that as they're sitting on these padded grips, their hands are staying warm. But we take it a little further than that. Further down the machine, we also have another vent that is mid-thigh. 
Opening that brings warmth to the operator's legs. And then even further, we have a third vent, which brings warmth to the operator's feet. So these are just some of the things and the touches we've added to make comfort and safety a priority in this design. Now, another nice feature that we actually kind of adopted from the original Snow Raider was this thigh pad. And beneath the thigh pad is another little compartment that you can store things. In fact, one of the things that we added to this mag is this nice little manual tube inside. So if you want to keep the operator's manual, it's great for your operators to have that as a reference. You could also store some small tools or something that you want to keep out of the elements. But with this thigh pad cover off, you also have access to the dipstick for the engine oil, as well as the fill for the engine oil. So we put a lot of thought into making this thing simple and easy to maintain. Now, this piece of equipment is great to leave at the job site, but there's certainly gonna be a lot of times and a lot of customers that are gonna to wanna to transport this from site to site. So again, we put this into the design and what we've incorporated is four tie-down points actually into the framing of the machine to secure it to the trailer as you transport. So there's two at the rear and there's two at the front. And because Boss knows that this Snow Raider mag is gonna be used out in the elements where corrosion can be a big problem, we of course have designed this with a completely stainless steel chassis. There's some pretty critical advancements and design changes that we made to this that are gonna make it a lot easier and longer lasting. One of those is what we're gonna be calling the lift group. Now the lift group is gonna comprise of the lift cylinder, which is behind this enclosed container, as well as this coupler, which attaches to the implement. Now what's important about this is we've designed some features into this that you're probably familiar with, like float mode. So any of the implements can be put into float mode by activating a valve in the lift cylinder. All right, that gives you 17 degrees of downward movement in the float position. We also have deforce with this. Again, something that we brought in from other products. So you can put downward force when plowing, when using the broom, or when using the blower. So another nice feature there. We also have the lift capabilities of 25 degrees. But again, getting back to the, the self-contained lift cylinder, we put that in there to keep it out of the elements. All right, so it's not getting the corrosion and all the, the abuse on the seals from things like salt and things like that. So it's nice that it's enclosed. But this being enclosed is also there because at some point you're gonna be putting an exact path drop spreader on this unit. And that salt is gonna drop directly out of the bottom of that unit to the ground surface. Now, if you remember, the exact path on the original Snow Raider had what we called the mustache. And it was a funneling system that went around the bottom side of the spreader and actually dispersed the salt around the framing for the plow. But since we were allowed to design this from the bottom up, we made that a minimal interference and we do not, no longer need that mustache funneling the salt. So that salt can drop directly to the ground. So that is the idea behind our entire lift group on this Snow Raider mag. Thank you today for watching, and remember, when snow and ice hits, Boss helps you restore order.